Greetings and welcome back fellow financial independence seekers to Trade in Your Job with Matt. Today's video is a long overdue reply to a comment and request for an ETF review for the Volatility Shares Negative 1x Short VIX Midterm Future Strategy ETF, ticker symbol ZIVB. You can check out this ETF for more information at the Volatility Shares website. I've linked it in the description. I first want to apologize to the commenter Ezra that it has taken me so long to get this produced. My brain is just starting to feel normalish again after my health scare a few months ago. I hope I didn't lose you as a supporter during that time frame. The comment stated on April 2023, ZIVB was launched. It tracks M4 to M7 versus M1 and M2 that SVIX does. ZIVB is the same as ZIV that was terminated in 2019. This one is way less risky. Can you please check this one? This was a comment on my video about ETFs SVIX and SVXY. I've linked it in the description as well. Those ETFs have a clause in the disclosures that they could lose 100% of their value overnight, which did happen to their predecessors. ZIVB is ZIV 2.0, and ZIV was delisted after Volmageddon in 2018. And while ZIVB does have the same disclosure about losing 100% overnight, the commenter is correct that ZIVB is way less risky comparatively. Don't hear me saying that ZIVB is not risky, it's just less risky compared to SVIX and SVXY. What the comment is referring to is the VIX futures term structure, and here is a picture of the term structure from VIXcentral.com. For the ETF ticker SVIX, that's the one that does month 1 and month 2, that's much more volatile than ZIVB, which does month 4 to month 7. So when I say month 1 to month 2, I mean these months in here, M1 and M2. And then when we're talking about month 4 to month 7, we're 1, 2, 3, month 4, 5, 6, and 7. These months in here are month 4 to month 7. And that's what ZIVB tracks. There are also two terms that are important to understand for futures contracts. They are contango and backwardation. So pictured here from Project Finance, contango and backwardation are opposites of each other. Most futures contracts deal with commodities where there is something physical that will be delivered at expiration, such as oil or gold. But for the VIX, which is the fear gauge, there is no fear to be delivered at expiration of the contracts, but the spot price still works the same way. So let me just explain a little bit. So when I say they're opposites, contango, when you go from right to left, is sloping down. Backwardation, when you go from right to left, is sloping up. So in contango, if you were bullish, you would want a spike in volatility for this to start to turn up so that you would get to backwardation because the spot price is what you're aiming for over here. In, in a contango example, the spot price is lower. In the backwardation example, the spot price is higher. If you're bullish, you want it to be higher. And if you're inverse or bearish, which is what ZIVB and SVIX are, then you want it to be lower. So contango, if you're inverse, you make money. So looking at contango and why month seven to month four is less volatile, the price, meaning the spot price of the actual VIX, bounces up a lot in this area. And month one and month two are going to respond a lot more quickly to that than everything to this side of the curve. So when you're in contango, the spot price is lower. It's down here. And everything is kind of moving along, decreasing in volatility like it should. If you were bullish on your futures contract, you would want the price you are paying for the futures contract to be less than the price at expiration when it converges with the spot price. So you want this price to be less than when it arrives over here. So if you're bullish on VIX, meaning you think volatility and fear are going to spike, you want the VIX price to go up here and for the VIX term structure to start to point up into backwardation. And people that are bullish and buying these month seven to month four contracts, if the VIX spikes enough and this starts to turn up, their contracts would um, be at a higher value and they could trade out of them. They don't have to hold them till expiration. As we discussed, SVIX and ZIVB are bearish plays because they are inverse. When VIX goes down, meaning the term structure when it's in contango, that is good for SVIX and ZIVB. That's where they make money. What's the main reason that it gets more volatile in here? That's because that's where time decay really starts to accelerate to the downside. 45 days until expiration is where time decay rapidly accelerates for futures and options, but it can also increase the percentage swings of futures and options contracts that are expiring shortly. And when there is volatility and fear in the markets, the VIX can climb very rapidly. 
and if it stays elevated, the future's term structure will enter backwardation, as we discussed, where it slopes up from right to left instead of down, like it does when it's in contango. So for inverse or bearish futures contracts, this results in negative returns because month seven to month four and month two to month one are all below the current spot price. Looking at ZIVB from the Volatility Shares website, it just launched in April of 2023. Pretty hefty expense ratio, 1.35%, and the fund is pretty new and small, just around 10 million in assets under management as of this recording. No surprises in the holdings, just showing that they're targeting months four to seven, and the negatives indicate selling to open, which is the inverse play. Does seem like in a period of declining volatility, like the VIX did from April through September, that it would provide good returns, and that's what we saw. It will not have as crazy day and swing trades as SVIX and SVXY, so I really doubt it will gain traction in popularity as quickly as those. Here's a comparison from Portfolio Visualizer of the two side by side. You can see that SVIX is going to be a lot more of a gamble in terms of big returns. Uh, ZIVB is a little muted comparatively. Right now, though, as of this recording, we just ended a period of higher volatility. You can see ZIVB experienced a pullback, so short-term movements in the VIX still have an obvious impact on ZIVB. So this was the VIX to ZIVB ratio, and what it means is the VIX is outperforming ZIVB. So when volatility strikes, ZIVB goes down. If there were to be a massive volatility spike, it could lead to substantial losses. So if you're going to dabble in this one, tread carefully. I'll also mention there is a channel dedicated to volatility trading strategies run by Brent. And so if volatility trading is something you are interested in, I would recommend checking out Brent's channel. As my channel is not solely dedicated to this topic, but his covers strategies extensively. I've linked that channel in the description. That about wraps us up for this video. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions. I appreciate your comments and insights. As always, thanks for watching. Till next time.